What's up, YouTube? So I've just released my new Serum sound bank, and I kind of want to demo some of the sounds for you guys, and I want to show you some of the things that kind of make these sounds special, as well as some of the sort of extra bonus stuff that comes with it. So let's dive in and have a look. So the sound bank is made up of sequencer type sounds and arpeggiators and that kind of stuff the more rhythmic sort of stuff. But what I have included as well are most of the unique wavetables that I use to create a lot of the presets alongside all of the uh, unique LFO shapes and gate patterns and stuff that I've created. Um, so it gives you guys the ability to use uh, the sounds that I had made to create your own presets and stuff like that. And I think that's what's pretty cool, um, quite different with this bank as opposed to my other preset banks. So I figured I kind of want to show you guys uh, these things as opposed to just, you know, releasing a kind of like advert video. So like I said, the, the pack comes with LFO shapes and uh, custom wavetables to load into uh, Serum. And I actually do get quite a bit of questions about this sometimes. So I want to do a quick uh, explanation of how to find uh, the folder and how to load up these uh, custom uh, bonus content that comes with the sound bank. So in Serum, you can actually click menu and you can click show Serum preset folder. So what I've done is I've actually I've actually saved uh, my new sound bank into the folder over here so we can actually just go ahead and extract that quickly. So you'll notice in the folder there are three folders. One is the actual presets themselves, the other is the LFO shapes and the other are the tables. So what you can do is you can actually copy all of these and paste them into this folder over here. And what it'll do is it'll place all of those elements into the correct folders over here. So check this out. If we go into tables, it's actually loaded up glitch automaton wavetables. And then these are the wavetables that I've included in the bank. Um, same thing with the LFO shapes. There are the custom LFO shapes. And then all the presets will be loaded up over there. Cool, so we can actually go ahead and delete that for now. So now is when we'll probably need to load up a new instance of Serum, just so it loads that data into the plugin. And let's have a look to see if the bonus content has been loaded. So these are all the uh, wave shapes that I've created for the, for the bank. And these are all the LFO shapes that I've created. So as you can see, there's quite a few uh, to choose from. You can kind of like randomly pick, you know, um, and just quickly create your own sort of sequences from scratch and gate patterns without really having to dive too deep into the actual presets themselves. You know, if you are uh, more of a kind of power user, this is still a cool preset bank because you've got this kind of uh, new content to load up into Serum to use as a base for your own presets as well. So let's just have a listen to this like quick sound that I've created using just those two bits of content. So we'll probably want to slow this down a little bit here. So as you can see, I mean, it's pretty easy to kind of just create your own stuff from scratch using a uh, random of the sort of bonus content that I've included with the pack. Um, so actually what I want to do quick is just draw a long note and we can cycle through some of these wave, uh, some of these LFO shapes. Um, I actually just want to put a little bit of movement on the wavetable position and then just put a little bit of delay on here just to sweeten up the sound a little bit, a little bit kind of repetitive, but I think this could kind of take that away a little bit. So let's have a listen here and cycle through some of these uh, custom LFO shapes that I've included here. So what I'm actually going to do is just uh, load up the first one and then just uh, hold alt and cycle through them and listen for a little bit.
so you guys can get more of an idea of like what the rhythms kind of sound like with a track. Uh, I'm going to play a kick and bass and percussion that I've uh, already just prepared for this. Um, also, a little side tip that I might just want to throw in here. If you like the rhythm of something, but you kind of want to shift it off or on beat slightly, what you can do is you can click this trigger over here and then right click on one of the points and then say set start point. And then what the, what's going to happen is the sequence is going to start there and then loop around. Check this out. So you kind of change uh, the position of the sequence without changing the shape. Check this. Pretty cool, hey? So I'm just going to cycle through some of these and then I'm going to cycle through some of the actual presets to show you guys uh, the presets, not just the bonus content, because that's obviously what this is all about. Anyway. Cool. So um, just as a side note, you can actually load these um, drag that folder into LFO tool to use these gate patterns and stuff with LFO tool as well if you want. Um, if you want to use these kind of patterns on a synth that's not Serum. So that's uh, something to note. So yeah, let's have a listen to some of the presets.
Awesome. That's just a little taster of the stuff that I've made for this new serum bank of mine. If you're interested in checking it out, I'm going to post a link to where you can grab it in the description below. If you're already a Patreon, I'm going to post a discount code for it on uh, my Patreon link. So definitely check out the Patreon portal for that. As always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.